come Christmas time. Also, story you gotta love, Halloween coming up this weekend, the Gamecocks taking on Tennessee. There are gonna be 10,000 volunteer fans there clad in orange, and I love this story. The USC folks are now asking all their fans to really wear black so you can have orange and black in the stadium on Halloween. Wouldn't that be fitting? Now, at Gardner-Webb College, plenty of treats so far this year. The running Bulldogs have lived up to their name this season, running off a seven-game winning streak that's put them in the top five in the NAIA rankings. Now, they've done it by piling up the points, and at the same time, they've left a pile of hair in their trail. With more on that is our Doug Everhart. So how can you tell that the Gardner-Webb football team is enjoying a great season? Easy. Points. Lots of points. The Bulldogs rank second in the country in points scored, averaging over 47 a game. And those kind of numbers earned them a mention in a recent edition of Sports Illustrated. Wins. Lots of wins. Since an opening day loss, Gardner-Webb has reeled off seven straight victories. The last four over schools that were ranked in the NAIA Top 20. And what do the Bulldogs have to show for these victories? <laughs> It all happened rather suddenly. As they were preparing for their game with Catawba, the entire Gardner-Webb defense promised they'd shave their heads if they won the game. Well, they won the game. And then last week, they asked Coach Woody Fish if they could shave his head if they beat Carson Newman. We were excited about winning the game, but uh, the thing that they were excited about was getting to shave the coach's heads. To beat Carson Newman, I'd let them pluck it out one by one. <laughs> It's been sheer madness at Gardner-Webb the last few weeks, but we've seen this sort of thing before. Remember the Summer Olympics? In a display of unity, every member of the U.S. men's volleyball team shaved his head. So how about Gardner-Webb? Has baldness brought the Bulldogs closer together? Well, you know, bald, I guess you'd say, and uh, it's brought us a lot, a lot closer, just like, just like we were brothers. We're all just real close. I think it has unified the team a little bit. I hope the offense kind of joins in on this so everybody come together. It kind of changed the atmosphere a little bit. <laughs> so the head coach is bald, the defense is bald, but the offensive players still have their hair. Will the Clippers work their magic on these guys next? Offense deserves their hair. Defense are crazy now. Why does the offense deserve their hair? Well, I think we're the smarter ones of the deal. <laughs> I think that's, that's a defensive trait, and uh, I think that's where it's going to stay. I really don't know. National championship? Uh, maybe. Stay tuned. In Boiling Springs, North Carolina, I'm Doug Everhart, TV7 Eyewitness Sports. By the way, Raymond Jennings of Pakulitz, a great player. He was the defensive player of the year for Gardner-Webb. Plays on defense. We don't know, though, if he still has his hair. I wouldn't want to challenge him on that fact, would you? I don't know. It's kind of a trait. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Pete. A lot of more news now. Thousands.